Good day guys, I'm going to build my very first Gumpler. Alright guys, so we're, we're going to be building the Gundam 00 Diver. Okay, so this is Rico's mobile suit from the television series um, Gundam Build Divers. Uh, we, uh, we're going to build it up, we're going to paint it up, um, we're going to try to keep with this, uh, the same sort of colour scheme. Um, we might change it up a little bit. And um, like I said, this is my first Gundam, so my first Gumpler. Um, so I don't know how well I'm going to go. But we will find out. So what I've done is I've got these little sticks <coughs> with the alligator clips on it and I've numbered them. So I've got the part number and the colour that I'm going to paint it. So I can snip off all the parts <coughs> and um, put on the clips and we can primer it, paint it, put it together, start with the head and the body and then move on to the legs and the arms and, and everything else. We'll just take it one part at a time and um, see how we go. So the colours that I'm going to be using are these colours here. They are metal acrylic colours from Ammo MIG. Um, and it also says Jimenez. Jimenez. So I've not used these before, but um, focus. But um, we're going to have a crack and we're going to see how well they go. So that's the AMIG-188 metallic red focus. Metallic red. And then we have the metallic blue focus. Thank you. Metallic blue. And so that's going to be the red and the blue. And then everything that you would have seen that is white, or you can see that is white there, I'm going to go with this colour, which is the bluish titanium. So we're going to chuck a, a light undercoat on there. So it's not too blue. And as you can see, on the bottom of the bottle, you'll get this silvery, bluish colour. Right. And then some of the other bits that you see that are black there or whatever, we're going to hit them with the titanium. So this one is... MIG-194 Matte Aluminium. And this is the bluish titanium. Okay, so they're the four colours we're going to use. We're also going to use a little bit of gold, um, but we can deal with that later. There's only, as you can see, there's only like a little tiny bit of gold there, and I'll probably do this gold as well. So, yeah, well, let's get cracked on and let's get started with cutting everything off the sprues. So as you can see, I've got all of the pieces all snapped off the sprue and I've cleaned them up, got all the little nubs and stuff off. I've got them all on these sticks, ready to go, ready to be primed. So what we're going to do is with the primer, we've got a couple of different colours. So we've got a dark primer, this one here, surface primer, and that's the dark Panzer, German Panzer Grey. And then we've got a medium um, primer, which is just a base grey, and we've also got the light grey or just grey acrylic polyurethane surface primer. So, with the colours, we want to be a bit darker, which is going to be the blue and the red 
and the, probably the gold, we're going to go with the dark primer. And so we're going to go with this one for the blues and then for the stuff that we want, the uh, titanium or aluminium, we're going to go with the light because I don't want it to be too dark, I don't want it to be too blue. So if I if I use the um, lighter primer, it will come out of that sort of bluish titanium, not blue titanium. So anyway, let's get started and um, we'll mix up some primer and we'll get these primed. Alright, so we've got the, the dark surface primer. We're going to chuck that in and then we're just going to use some of this um, Vallejo thinner medium to thin it down and we're going to go probably 50-50 so that'll make it spray nicely okay so let's let's get some of this in here all right so if we go one two three four five six i don't know seven or eight drops of that and then we um chuck in probably about the same for this one and then we'll just see how we go from there. So, so as you can see, the pieces are all painted up. I let them dry. They've been sitting for probably about nine hours, give or take, eight or nine hours, something like that. So they're all ready to be assembled. And um, 
see how they go. We can start putting them together and um, removing any paint that might be in the sort of spots where they clip together. If it's going to affect it, hopefully they will just sort of slide together nicely. We won't have to remove any paint. Now, what I've done here, as you can see in front of me, I have cut out the little connector bits. I don't know what the technical name for them is, but they're all on this PC sprue. PE, whatever the hell it is. PC001. So I've cut all those pieces out. And um, we're going to just pop them on the instructions where they're going to be needed. So I can just follow along and my pieces are going to be right there. Okay, so let's get cracked on. <laughs> 